It was the 22nd century. Humanity was struck by the most shocking incident in recorded history. One day, an anomaly occurred in the body of every woman. Used in tending children and the captivation of men, those boulders which are the most alluring of organs. Breasts. In some, they swelled up suddenly, while in others, their growth stopped at the size with which they were born. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. There was a time when women's breasts came in many sizes, but after that day they were split into two groups, those A and below, and those E and above. In later days, this phenomenon would come to be called the Bust Revolution. Was it a new virus, some country's biological weapon, or perhaps the Lord's judgment? It was thought there might be a fatal effect on the human body. The world was engulfed in confusion, and tensions rose so much that people even feared that a new world war might break out. But that confusion only lasted for a few months. Once investigations found out nothing had been affected but bust size, things settled down for a time, though the cause of it still remained unclear. Due to the polarization of breast sizes, there was a demand for brassiers and underwear specialized for each size. Underwear makers rushed to satisfy this emergency demand, leading to a recovery of the slow global economy. The women who had suffered were pleased with the greater variety in designs brought about by the limited number of sizes. An atmosphere that welcomed this change spread throughout the world. Yet, even in that relaxed atmosphere, the seeds of discord were slowly but surely spreading throughout the entire world. The flat chests with A cups and under and the big breasts with E cups and over. The debate over which of those two polarized bus sizes was more wondrous slowly grew in intensity. This conflict, which would come to be known as the bus dispute, ensnared men who favored each bus size and continued to heat up. In time, the flat chests came to detest men, saying, All they bring is back pain. They look vulgar. They hatefully called the big-breasted women's busts cow udders. The big-breast women said things such as, flat-chested women are lacking in both breasts and hearts, and you can't even properly breastfeed with that size. They look down on the flat chests as low breeds. It had only been a few years since the bust revolution, but the opposition between the two camps had deepened to such a level that any hope of reconciliation was lost. And then finally, the war came.